Hey friends, Tanya here with another video. This time we're doing cute Christmas critters featuring the My Favorite Things Sweater Weather in the Woods stamp set. I'm going to stamp them out with some Hero Arts Intensified Black ink on some Nina Solar White, I think this is 80 pound smooth white cardstock. And I'm also going to stamp them on these color swatch cards that I created using the Waffle Flowers swatches. I'll remember to link those in the description box below. They are perfect for creating some cheat sheets for yourself, so to speak, when you're figuring out how to color your different characters. So you can, I just stamped the same images on these swatch cards. And after I figure out how I want to color these images, I will then color them on the swatch card and keep track of what colors I used with the Copic markers. Now this is the first coloring I did of the fox and I do struggle a little bit with the reds, reddish browns when it comes to critters. And this was my first go round. I am going to leave it in because I don't show you how I colored with the actual color combo that I decided to go with, but the method didn't change at all. Um, I went from darkest to lightest. Sometimes that helps reduce any bleeding outside the lines because you don't get over inky. <coughs> and um, I think I ended up going back with the darker colors a little bit also. So just putting the darker colors where it would be darker and leaving the uh, middle part portions where it would round out towards us a little bit lighter. I'm not going to show you the sweaters and um, I hope to remember to put the Copic color combos somewhere in the uh, like in my blog. Yeah yeah and I apologize I am going to cut out the any coughing fits that I have, but I am not going to be able to cut out the wheezing because I got sick this week and we'll see if it's the COVID. If it is the COVID, it's pretty mild. Well, for as severe as it has been, it did lay me up for a few days. So I'm actually um, recording this when the blog post is already live, um, but that's okay. I know I did use the W's, I think it's W-O and W-1 for the white parts of this fox. I'm adding a little bit of R20 and that in the ears and on the cheeks. And that doesn't change when I use a different color combo for the reds. Um, it took me probably half an hour to color up all of these little images. And I'm only showing you a couple of them. I think I just show you the fox and the moose. Aren't they adorable? This stamp set, oh, here we go. The two different color combos and the cards. So now you can see what the color combos I used were for those particular cards. Now we're going to move on to the moose. And this is the color combo I ended up going with. So I didn't change that. As I was saying about the sick, cutting out the coughs, but the wheezes, I'm not going to be able to cut out. I apologize. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, most of the coughs. I can't pause every time I have a little throat clearing. <laughs> um, so this time I do lay the lightest color down first, and then I'm going to come back with the mid-tone and the darker tone, and I think I end up coming back again with the light tone. This uh, stamp set is actually more of a fall themed card, but for me it works. Uh, well, I had to make it work for cold weather for Christmas because it turns out I don't have a whole lot of Christmas critter sets that are anywhere near current. And I try to feature things that you could go find yourself if you were inspired by the stamp set. I know sometimes I'll be, I'll, I will think I have everything I need in my stamp room and then watch someone else create with something and wish desperately that I could get a hold of it myself because it has given me so many ideas for other things. 
So to avoid some frustration for you guys, I did purposely this time look for something that is current. I know I've used retired things in the past and I, I'm sure I will again because just because you can't purchase them again doesn't mean that they aren't still quite usable. Um, I don't know about you, but I have a giant stash. I have a hard time parting with anything that I might use again and I frequently do use things from my stash. So I don't feel guilty about it at all. And I am not a minimalist. We're just going to say that out, out loud here. <laughs> so this is uh, some, I think those are E30 and E31 that I'm using for the antlers. And I think I used a dark W warm gray for the hooves. And all of these little critters can hold a mug, which is adorable. I think the little fox and the owl, they could be holding too. One for them and one to share. Anyway, this was more, uh, this the theme of these were more fall, but we're using them for Christmas. And there is the color combo for the moose. I also dug out this snow marker. I bought it last year. I'd been wanting it for a few years. And every time I would look for it, it would be Christmas card creating season in the extreme we're talking like November and it was sold out everywhere well this past last year I think I got it right after Christmas or shortly after Christmas or even in June and I didn't use it at all and I'm using it this year dog on it <laughs> so it's kind of like a paint marker in that you have to pump, push it down push down on the tip to pump it to activate it but once it's going it's good and you just dab it on or you use the marker to get the stuff on your image, of course, I mean. And then you heat it with your heat tool and you watch it puff up. It's amazing and super easy. It only takes one product. You don't have to use a stamp, which, I mean, there's benefits to using a stamp and um, to get the specific shape. But this was quick and easy. Um and now for the background, I'm going to use this color combo uh, that I have on a library ring, a ring. Um, I've done a bunch of different color combos, so I have some references. So if I find a good one or a new one, I can put it on one of those swatches. Again, those are a Waffle Flower product also. Well, the dyes are. And they're amazing. Love them. I will use them forever. I think there's a, they're all staples in my uh, crafting uh, world. And we're using ripe persimmon, abandoned coral, and festive berries on this. And this is an 8.5 by 5.5 inch piece of cardstock that I am doing up. This is ultimately going to be cut down with a slimline die. But back to the waffle flower stuff. If you haven't used their color swatching system or seen it at all, it's worth checking out. Um, there's so many handy tools that don't necessarily apply. I mean, you don't usually use them directly on cards and projects, but they are great for organizing your supplies and helping you uh, get the most out of your supplies. I'm going to do a quick spritz with the pearlized water, which I can't live without. Look at that shine and shimmer. And I'm just going to dry it really well with my heat tool because I'm too impatient to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to use the Slimline, uh, I think it's Wonky Woodland. It'll be linked again in the supply list below. And I'm also using this um, Slimline stencil set from Trinity Stamps. And I, this is a three-part, at least three-part stenciling kit, but I'm just using the star portion of it. It's got uh, some dots and some multi-pointed stars on it, and I'm going to use it like snow. There are several glitter gels, glitter pastes that you can use. I'm showing you the white, the iridescent, and the frosted window pane. The first two are from um, Gina K. And this one is from Brutus Monroe. And I just 
I, I don't know why I picked that one over the other two, but those are just some of the many white glitter gels that you can use to create snow and stars on your cards. Um, just dig through your stash, use what you got. If you don't have one of them, those are kind of staples, at least once you get beyond paper, ink, and stamps in your in your craft room. Now this one is Hug in a Mug, also from My Favorite Things. I've used this a bunch already. And I'm going to use a little powder tool here. Mine is just a sock that I've sewn some cornstarch in, starch into. And I have a bulldog clip on there as a handle. I'm going to use some Versamark to get that all inked up. And we're ultimately going to use some Hero Arts brass embossing powder to do the sentiment. I'm going to heat set that quick. I finally found a piece of uh, is it chipboard? Yeah, probably. It came in a package. I saved it. This is what I normally do to prevent from burning my fingers from the heat tool. I just clip it on with a um, clothespin or bulldog clip. And then my fingers don't get near the heat gun at all. I'm using the Barely Art glitter, or excuse me, precision glue again. And I'm using that to glue this panel after the glitter gel has dried right to a three and a half by eight and a half inch uh, folded card base. Just carefully aligning those edges so everything lines up nicely and I'm going to put the misty down on top just to let that dry nice and flat. I'm going to take my colored image which I die cut with the coordinating dies for the sweater weather in the woods stamp set and I'm going to group those all over some snowflakes that I cut out I use some Simon Says stamps snowflake dies that I got last year dig through your stash I bet you have some snowflake uh, dies in your stash I'm sure these are still available I just don't remember the names and I don't think I wrote them down anywhere believe it or not um, I used coaster blanks to die cut some extra dimension behind all of those images. And um, I'm also going to stencil on the inside of this card. This card was thrown together. I had started creating it before I got sick earlier this week. And I'm kind of thankful I did. All I had to do was um, I had all the images die cut and colored before before I needed to have this done however I had to throw this card together super fast so um, it's Friday evening now I finished the card around six o'clock and I was supposed to have the post up by eight so uh, that was pretty good that that wasn't such bad timing I'm sure you know what it's like to have your day go a little haywire so I used, um, you could use coffee filters to cut out those um, snowflakes, vellum. I cut them out with the paper that came wrapping my, I think it was the card kit from Spellbinders. Anyway, it's kind of like a really, really lightweight white paper with a shiny coating. Coffee filters would, would look were great. I added a little bit of a vellum snowflake over the top because that looked a little too busy and I needed to create a little bit of uh, difference between those. Um, and there's some stenciling on the inside of the card using the same stencil I used on the front with the glitter gel, only I used whatever ink was left on the red, on my red and orange um, blender brushes. I also added some really cute little crystal clear gems. I think I got mine from HAI H -A -I Supply, but it I ordered from them only once, and it turns out 
the cost is the same or higher from the direct supply place than it is from like Trinity Stamps or any of the other places. So I would recommend that you get them from uh, one of the small shops instead of from the direct supply place because the price is the same or higher. And I'd rather support those small businesses. I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, do you have a bunch of cute critters in your stash? Sorry, big yawn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, can you think of some ways to take some of your critters that aren't necessarily Christmas themed to create a card? I'd love to see what you do with it. And if you um, enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up subscribe, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and, and hear what you'd like to see me do. <clears throat> Check me out on my other social media spots and be sure to come back again soon. If you in, are interested in any of the supplies I used on this project, they are listed in the links below. And you can also check me out on my blog. Hopefully, I will remember to put the Copic ink colors there. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Stay happy, healthy, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.